I fuck with shawty cause she bought a business, ayy She independent and she on a mission, ayy Been through some shit but now it's better living, ayy What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and comment down below, hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. <laughs> also, make sure you are commenting down below so that I can see that you are first and you can be shouted out on my next video. So, y'all, today we're doing this bum puff ponytail, okay? This is so cute. It came out way cuter than I thought it was like I I, I, I don't know <laughs> sometimes I'm a little skeptical with trying stuff but this is really cute super easy and I'm gonna make sure that I show you guys how you can achieve this look I want to make sure that I tell you guys I achieved this look with my hair blown out but you also can achieve this look with your hair natural it just takes a little more work to lay your hair down of course but you can achieve this look I use one pack of the Marley braid hair color 1b slash 30 this was only 4.99 in my local beauty supply store so this is a really cheap hairstyle that can maybe last you a few days if taken care of i feel like if i just take this off at the top at night i should be fine to put it back on in the morning you know and save this part from getting all messy i'm also using got to be glue spray in the video and of course my edge control y'all know i'm using even edge control so that's all i use in the video just so you know bobby pins or bands of course but yeah that's enough rambling so if you want to know how you can look like this girl let's just get straight into the video okay okay so first i'm going to start off by detangling my hair from any tangles from overnight i'm just using my shower comb and my tangle teaser to do so just to make sure that I can have the flattest surface as possible. Once my hair is all detangled, I'm then going to go in with my hard brush just to lay my hair down. And I'm going to be using my even edge control to do so with a little bit of got to be spray as well. But mostly my even edge control is the base. I then just brushed my hair until I got it as flat as possible. It took a little time, I had to brush a lot, move my hair a lot, but then I finally got it into a ponytail. So after doing so, I then sprayed my hair with Got To Be Spray, just to add a little extra hold to it. I sprayed the spray on my brush and then brushed my hair, just to hold my flyaways down. I finally have a ponytail so now I need to form a little bun so I'm just gonna wrap my hair just like twist it and make a little bun and then seal that bun with a hair tie Okay, so I have my bun and I'm halfway done. Now I'm just going to lay my edges before sitting under the dryer. And I'm using my even edge control for that as well. To help set my hair, I'm going to be using these black hair wraps. So I just wrapped it around my edges and also around the base of my head as well. Once I have all the hair wraps that I want on my head, I'm gonna go in and spray the top of the wraps with Got To Be Spray, just to give my hair a little extra hold while sitting under the dryer. Again, I would say don't spray too much because I did spray too much on this um, part and I had like little white flakes from it. So don't spray too much, but just a little goes a long way. Once the got to be spray is sprayed all around, it's now time to sit under the dryer. I sat under the dryer for about 30 minutes, not too long. Now it's time to actually assemble the ponytail. And you want to fold your hair, not halfway, but about one third of the way, fold it. You then want to attach your hair tie to the ponytail. 
just as you would any other ponytail just attach your hair tie so that you can put it on your bun that you made on your hair Now that you have your hair tie in a knot, you can just attach it to your bun just as you would a regular hair tie. Like just put it on there. You don't have to put it too tight. Just put it straight on. Then I'm going to wrap that extra hair we had around the perimeter of that bun just to cover it. Once you have it where you want it and how you like it, just use bobby pins to pin it in place. Now that you have your ponytail on, this is what it should be looking like. And we're going to start creating the puffs. And to create the puffs, you just want to add rubber bands all the way down the ponytail. So I'm starting at the top and I'm just going to make my way all the way down the ponytail. You do want to take your time with this part because the hair can get tangled into the rubber band. So there are a couple sections like this one that I had to do over. So just keep that in mind. Take your time. I would say you could add oil to the rubber bands to make it easier to move the hair through. You're all done adding your rubber bands you want to just go through and puff each section out okay y'all so this is how my hair came out super super cute oh my gosh <laughs> y'all every time i say super cute now i think about my friends laughing at me this is how my hair came out guys it's like really cute like it's cuter than I thought it was going to be. I got this freaking line up here. The only thing I would change from the process is probably not to use as much got to be glued as I use. But it's okay. I think my hair is really laid. So that's a plus. It's going to be laid for a few days, which is good. I want to put something on here, but I don't have anything to put on it yet. I want to put maybe some gold strings on it just to like spruce it up a bit. But yeah, this is how we're looking. Super cute. This hairstyle was very, very easy. Even when I thought I was messing up, it was super easy just to fix the problems that I had, which was like the top part, but it looks good. It looks good. I'm happy with this hairstyle. It's probably gonna be a go-to when I don't feel like doing my hair for real. And having my hair blow dry really made it easier to lay my hair. Of course, you know, natural hair, type four hair is hard to lay, but having my hair blown out really made that easier this is a look this is a look for the girls okay this is a look period so i hope that y'all enjoyed this video let me know what you think about this hairstyle down below would you try it if you do try it make sure you tag me on instagram so i can see how yours came out girl make sure that you guys are commenting below so that you will be the next person to get a post notification shout out. Make sure you like the video. Don't leave here without subscribing. Okay, because there's more to come. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. That's all I have for you. So may your curls pop in your grind. Never stop flavor squad. I'm out of here.